So first and foremost, we're going to just chat about Ripco's E numbers. They're not the numbers that get banned from streets and make your kids super hyper. They are just the numbers they've decided to give to their neoprenes um, throughout their range. So you have E4, E5, E6, and E7. Um, essentially, the way it goes up is the, the later iterations, and they, they break down. So, for example, E4 was a 30% increase in its stretch, warmth, and overall performance from their originals, their original wetsuits. And then E5 was a 30% increase on that. E6 a 20% increase on that. And now E7 is a 20% increase on top of that. So you can see where that goes, and that's where you'll see me referring to this wetsuit, an E7 neoprene or an E5 or an E6. Um, along with that, entry systems. So you have zip-free, chest, essentially a chest entry step-through system where you don't have a zip. A chest zip entry, which is basically the Zane zip-free but with a zip. And then you have the back zip, which is down the back, a bit more classic and old school. And then the last real technical thing that we kind of need to just slightly break down is the tapings, the internal tapings. They have the flash line in E7, E6 tapings, and then they actually have just E6 and E5. That's where it gets even more confusing because there's like a flash line and then an E6 and E5. Um, essentially, that again, it's a performance thing. So all the linings are like leading in the market, but E7 slightly more performance, stretch, warmth, like less leaks. Um, that not that you get any leaks. I've I've tested a few of these, uh, even the Dawn Patrols in E5, which we'll get into, and um, they are very very good. So that's just that start, um, and we can dive right in right now, um, and we can start with the the pinnacle, which is this end, and then we'll come back down and through the range. So starting with the Ripco Fusion wetsuit. 